Hi everyone, Jane Isles Bennett here from Hot Space. I'm just coming to you this Friday afternoon. Who is happy that it's the weekend? <laughs> Say hello, please. i uh, love to know that you're there and excited for the weekend. So today I want to talk about, um, for any of you thinking about um, painting the exterior of your house, um, it's a really good idea, obviously, to give your home a um, lovely makeover and a fresh new look. And uh, I love painting houses, not personally, but um, <laughs> I love the effect that it gives. But I wanted to um, bring something to your attention about that. And, um, it, and what that is, is if you just paint your house with a another color in a way it's a little bit like putting on a new cardigan but not adding some earrings or a new pair of pants I, don't, I can't remember if I've used this analogy on here before but so excuse me if I'm repeating myself I don't tend to have an amazing memory but um it, and so if you think about that, you uh, just change your top or um, but you don't add any earrings or guys, you might have some nice cufflinks or, um, you know, a watch or something like that, which you can kind of update your outfit girls, you know, with your handbag or your um, rings or bracelets or uh, shoes. <laughs> Who likes shoes? Um, then, you know, you really just putting a new cardigan on your house so my suggestion with that is to think yes think about the color the color is really important but what other things can you do that can transform your home with more than just a color so um, for instance what can you do to the fence what can you do to the trims can you add some sort of entry uh, feature can you um, do something with the driveway can you do something with the um you know outdoor living spaces um you know the, i'm sort of talking about exteriors now interior certainly applies to um i find myself talking a lot about uh exteriors because i'm doing a lot of them lately but um and interiors i've got a tick a tip um what a tip, what a comment here. Hi Jane, any tips on covering horrific stake floors? And I mean huge area with two different floor heights. Oh gee, yep. We might have to talk about that one. You can't just put floorboards over the top, no, because you've got two different floor levels. Yeah, it's a real pain when that happens. There's not, unless you can level off one area to um, to bring it into the line with the other, but three centimetres is really too much, but sorry it's not an easy answer that one um yeah it might be a pull them out and start again or the pull out the area that's higher than the lower and play around with it um so anyway i yeah so i just wanted to talk about um the um yeah oh, well, i've lost my train of thought the uh the cardigan syndrome yeah <laughs> so i think more about the color that you're doing is important, but really it's only 50% of the equation. The rest of it is going to be about what accents can you use? What lighting can you use? How can you, um, so things like, oh, I saw I was at a client the other day and something that we worked out was, well, that I worked out when I was on site was the way that the landscaping it was really made it look quite narrow. Um, so there was some, um, hedging which separated the driveway to the front um, front yard on the on the right hand side and so the hedging what that did is it sort of split the two areas in half and what that visually did was split the property in half as well as some fencing and some um, landscaping sort of creeping in and giving the illusion that it was smaller than it was so think about those things do you need to give the illusion that your house is wider, that your property is wider? Um, don't worry too much about the, is it a light color? Is it a dark color? Is my house going to look small or light? That kind of factor 
doesn't really apply on the exterior. I mean, it sort of does to a certain degree, but I, I never really think about that. I think about what's the right color for this property and, and why. There's always a justification about why. So, um, yeah, think about that. Have a great weekend. I'm going to go now, pick my little boys up from daycare, and um, I will see you next week. Say hi and um, message me if you've got any, um, if you need any help with um, uh, renovating your house. I do interior design and exterior design. Or as someone said to me on their phone the other day, do you do interior design for exteriors? And I said yes. <laughs> okay. Catch you later. Bye.